Hello. So we are back. And this time we are start learning the basic of the electronics. So you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, so what we are learning? We are learning the electronics on a way to achieve what we are looking for, repairs. Okay, on repairs, we are not using a formula. It's all about understanding. It's all about estimating. And it's all about recognizing part of the circuits. That's how we are repairing. So what do you know about electricity? What do I know about electricity? Yeah. Oh, we have electricity in our house, on the <laughs> sockets, on the lights. Okay. And um, we have our electricity bill. Oh, okay, um, okay. I know yeah. that one. Yeah, you know that one. You know <laughs> yes, that one. I know that one. <laughs> okay, so electricity can be in a form of DC or, or AC. AC. You, you know that, I yeah? know that, yes. Okay, okay. So DC basically is just, you know, you have ground and then you have plus, yeah? And uh, the current is uh, going on a single direction, okay? Okay. Which direction? Uh, Let's assume here we have a light bulb. Okay. So this is a light bulb symbol, yeah? Mm -hmm. On which direction? It's moving. You don't know. Uh, in that way. <laughs> <laughs> no? Uh, yeah, obviously. Okay. So the way how, how uh, I want you to see it is moving from plus to minus on this direction. That's how I want you to see it. All right. I want just to know it. In reality, that's how the current is moving and the electron is moving on the other side. But, that's how we are working with the schematic, yeah? From plus to minus. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Simple? Mm, simple. Okay. So if we are removing the, the light bulb, if you have nothing connected, the that current is not flowing. It's not, it's not going anywhere. Yes. Okay. Yes. Obviously. Now, how you measure the potential? The potential, yeah, is measured in volts. Okay. Okay? Yes. The current and amps. Okay. Now, volts and, and current, they are going together hand in hand. You understand? Yeah. You mean volts and amps? The volts are is the potential and the current is the intensity. All right. But we're going to make this clear. So this is DC, direct current. Okay? What do we have more? It's AC. Which is uh, alternative current. Uh, AC yeah. is alternative current. Okay. So what is happening in the AC case? You don't have plus and minus. All right. And that's the middle line, which is zero volts ground. Yeah? Yeah. Zero volts. Here is zero. The AC means on uh, on a circuit the plus to minus is changing so you have two wires with ac yeah ac yeah. this is ac the plus and minus is changing very quickly you understand okay like the the the, the ac from the wallet yeah you understand so basically you have dc Switching very fast. Okay. Can you understand that? No, it's like I'm, I'm not plus sure. or minus, yeah. like that. Yeah. So okay. how fast is switching? Depends of how much um, voltage you have. No. No. I can have 220, I can have 3 volts, it's still switching. Okay. In the same, it doesn't change, in the same way? Yes. Okay. That's the frequency. Okay. So here in Europe, we have 50 Hertz, right? 50 yeah. Hertz. Yeah. Okay. So what 50 Hertz meaning? 50 Hertz means the plus or minus is changing 50 times per second. Okay. Makes sense. 
Yeah. Okay. That's yes. what the, the 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 frequency means. All right. Okay. So AC we have uh, wires, and the plus and minus is changing fifty times per second. All right. Every second. Okay. It's switching plus and minus. Yeah? yeah. It's clear. Yeah. So you don't have plus, you don't have minus because they are switching fast. Yes. Or you have plus and minus but on each one. You don't know. Of course, you don't know. You do, you don't know which one because they are switching. Yeah, it's AC. That's why it's called AC. Yeah. Yeah. So each uh, each end of the wire basically has no value because the AC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And has value on the same time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. It's just AC. All right. It's all clear. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now let's move forward. Now we have to prove. Now, so the difference between AC and DC is clear. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to work a lot of DC. Now the battery symbol is like that. And you have plus and you have minus and you have two wires, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's how the battery looks on the circuits. And then you have a light bulb. It's a hard schematic for you. No, it's, just, it's simple, simple, right? Yes. Yeah. Light bulb doesn't have plus and minus. So it doesn't matter how you connect the light bulb to the battery. Okay. Yeah. Good. How are we are checking the voltage on the battery? The potential. With the multimeter, right? Right. No, check. We have here the battery. Please check what voltage has the battery. So what voltage has the battery? We have the multimeter on screen there. Yeah, so yeah. there is the multimeter. But wait, wait a minute. Yeah. On the battery it says it's nine volts. Yeah. But how do you know it's nine? Maybe it's discharged. Oh, true. Yeah. So you have to check to be sure. I mean, if it's charged, it means that's nine volts. Yeah. Okay. But you have to check to be sure. Maybe it's discharged. That's what I'm trying to, to make the point, not this one. So the multimeter is switched on DC. You on have DC. it on the screen yes. there. Yeah. Yeah. So check the battery, let's see. All right, this is the minus, this is the plus. Yeah. So what voltage do you have there? 8.4. 8.4 volts? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. That's good. Now, here you have a light bulb. Okay. Yeah, there's a 12 volts light bulb. Mm -hmm. But even if you connect it to 8 volts, it should light up. Right? Yeah. Okay. What? You want to say something? Oh, you want to test it? Okay, okay. No. So you don't trust the light bulb. Okay. No, 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 it's fine. You, no, no. you said this is the 12 volts, right? No. Check on the power supply. We are working with the power supply. We have 8.5 volts, right? Yes. Okay. So, uh, let, let, so if this is the 12 volts yes. and you put 8, yes. obviously it's not be that Right. Right. Could be, yeah, yeah, right. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah you're correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. So the light bulb is good. We have eight volts. You can see that eight volts. Yes. So it's working, right? Yeah. Okay. We're going to use the power supply. We're going to use the power supply a lot on learning, on the learning process. So how, my, how many volts do you have there? Let's switch it to 12. You can see our 12 yes. volts there. 12. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Maybe I'm lying. No, you're not lying because it's the same yeah, 12. Maybe, the, I don't know, maybe the display is lying. So check the voltage with the multimeter. That's what I'm, 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 I want you to do. On the, yes, on those? yes, yes. And I check uh, like this? Yeah, check the voltage. Why you choose the red probe to the red probe? Because that's the minus and that's the plus. Yeah, but the multimeter, it's working on the both ways. So try on the other way. Oh, lol. Yeah. So you see, when you try on the other way, it's oh, with minus. Oh, it's with minus. Yeah. Oh. So that's mean you connect the multimeter on the other way. Yes. But it's still checking the voltage right. So you can see you have 12 volts, right? You have yeah. 12 volts. Yes. Yeah, that's good. Now try to connect the power supply to the light bulb and uh, and make it work. All 
So why what is it not working? What the hell is going on here? You checked. It was 12 volts, right? Uh, why? Where are you are looking? Here, it's 12. No, I can see it's not 12. Yeah, I know it's 12. So why is it not working? It's not DC. It is DC. It is. Oh. Even if you connect this to AC, it will light up on the same way. You understand? Okay. This is a light bulb. Doesn't matter if it's DC or AC. Even if it's AC, it will be 12 volts AC. And why is not powering? Because you checked the voltage. So you have no current there. Oh. Okay. So you understand just having voltage is, is not helpful. True. Without the current, you cannot uh, light up the bulb. Yeah, but how do you put the current then? Oh, we, with the other one. With the, what? With the DC. With, with these ones. No, that's the multimeter. This is just measuring things. It's not affecting the things, it's just measuring. You can't put current. Oh, lol, that, that's hard. How can it be hard? So, I want to see two different things, current and voltage, that's all. Yes. Voltage and current are two different things. I see now, they are two different, because this one is not working if you... Yeah. If you put 12 volts. Yeah, so you see you have 12 volts. But you don't have current. Yeah. What about the, the cigarette lighter? You know, the one with quartz, yeah. they're making sparks. Yes. There are like 10,000 volts. Can you die? No, because you don't have current. Exactly. So you see, current, it is, makes sense. current is quite important. It is. What about if we have current and we don't we have, have voltage? voltage. Uh... Can we check? Let's see. I don't know. So I'll take the voltage out. Not all, because we have still we have to push some current. I will hire the current. I will I will show you the current. Yeah, we check on the screen. Yeah. So the current is okay. It's not enough. Okay, so check on the screen. How much current you have? Uh, three volts. No. W w w wait a minute. But this one is the current. Yes, that's three. Three. Yes. A amps. Okay, three amps. so this is three amps. Yes. Don't worry about the voltage because we, we said we're gonna check if the current can power up this light bulb. So check now. So we don't have voltage, we have current. Actually, yeah. we have voltage, but just a little bit like 0 0.8 volts. Oh, lol, it's not working. But you, you said at the beginning the 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 current right yes goes hand in hand with the uh voltage volt, yes. voltage yes so if you have current and you don't have voltage that means it's not working if you have voltage and you don't have current that means it's not working as well yes. so you have to have uh current and voltage to yes to light up the voltage. exactly exactly makes sense yeah now, how much current do you need? So, if this is a 12 volts, 12? Yeah. It's a 12. 12 volts. You, uh, you need 12 volts. Yes. But how much current? What about if you are putting more current than should? You're gonna burn the bulb. You think? It's gonna be like boom. Okay, so we still have three amps. Let's see. We still have three amps. Yeah, we do have three amps. You can see. So I'm gonna raise the voltage to twelve and check now. Now it's a, it's a lot of current. You know, you have three amps there. Uh. Be careful. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like those. I don't like those. 
I I remember when we after you fixed the TV, yeah, you put us to to try it to <laughs> to, test it. to test it, yeah, and you go away. I was like, yeah. no, no. Yeah, this is not a TV, it's just a light bulb. Okay. Stay, stay. stay uh, yeah, I'm, 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 here. I'm here. Okay. <gasps> oh wow, that's so okay. So it's not blowing up. It's not. But wait a second. You you can put more than than three amps. You can put a lot. What do you mean? Um, I don't know. What's the maximum you can put? You can't put. That's the thing. Okay. You can't put current. I'm co I'm confused now. I know you are confused. I have a present for you. The Christmas just came earlier. <laughs> so this it will be your multimeter. Hmm? Okay. It's not it's like a phone. You can probably you can't use it like a phone, but it's like a phone. No, you, you cannot. Okay, power it on. It's like a phone, it has a button there. It has a button. Yeah. Uh, you have to keep press the yeah, button. Okay. okay. Right. We are not using on auto. Okay? Yes. So on the manual, first we have voltage, the voltage. Then the ohms. Resistance. Oh resistance. Oh yeah. Okay. Voltage, then um, resistance. Ohms, resistance. Okay. Then it's beeping. All right. That's continuity to check, yeah, when you touch the probes and it's beeping. Yeah. You can hear it? I can't. Uh, I can't. Yeah, because people say that one is so loud. This one is not that loud, but he cannot hear it. No, yet. I can't hear it. Yeah, I, I oh, can't. I think it's faulty. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, the next one, it, the next one doesn't matter, yeah? All right. What is matter? Uh, we are sitting a little bit here, okay? All right, this that, is the milliamps? Yeah, is the current. Okay. Yeah, so the current, milliamps, amps, um, 1000 milliamps is like one amp, yeah? Yeah. Now let's move the probe because it's saying lead, you can see. Mm -hmm. So you have to check, change the lead. Milliamps here. Okay. Okay? Yes. Clear? Yeah. Good. Now I want to check and tell me what current is going through the light bulb. All right. So how we are checking the current? With the multimeter in a serial mode with the, with the power supply. So on the screen, check here, we are bringing the multimeter here. And we are checking the current. Okay? Okay. Good. Now let's check uh, let's check the current together. All right, so you you have to light up this. No? You have to use the multimeter in a serial mode. Um so let's say oh. let's connect the one probe to a wire. Wait. Wait. Mm. Wait. What you are doing here? So why you want to connect the second probe to do there? You are not connecting like no, that. No, what, what you are trying to do, check here what you are trying to do. You are trying to do uh, the multimeter. So you are trying to do something like that. And here the light bulb, right? So that's parallel mode in the parallel with the light bulb, right? Mm -hmm. So what you can check like that? Why you cannot? You have no power supply. Yes. Oh boy. But this is parallel. Serial mode is this. So you add in the series with the light bulb. You see series mean one after the other. The, the multimeter. Oh. So that's series. That's parallel. All right. So, so this is parallel. Those are in the serial mode. So everything from this circuit is in the serial mode. You have the light bulb. You have the ammeter, here you have the battery, everything is on the serial mode. 
And how the current, it will move? On this way. So our circuit is like it's that. Like that. Like that, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But that serial, that's parallel. You understand? Yes. So I need to um, connect the the minus from the um, power supply and the plus from the um, multimeter. No? Plus and minus is a little bit not important because the light bulb and the multimeter doesn't need plus and minus. It will work on any way. Right. But in a normal case, yeah, you need to know the plus and minus. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. So connect the multimeter and the multimeter on a serial mode. So I need to connect this one. No. What am I doing? Oh yeah. You have the schematic on the screen. Yeah, but... <sighs> Just forget about plus and minus. Eh? Just forget about that. So it doesn't matter, plus and minus? No. Not now. Oh, lol. And if I connect it like this? Okay. Okay, and? And then... Uh, touch those two. Yeah. Hey, it's working. What the hell? You have to check on the multimeter the current because that's the fuse. Are you just blow up the fuse? Oh lol. Oh lol. I can't believe. Oh, so what do I do? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's check. Let's change here. So let's switch to amps. Yeah, yeah, and we are arms now. Check now again. So I do something Probably wrong? has automatic fuse. So what's the current? It's 0 0.8. That's mean? That's mean? 862 milliamps. Yes. Right? Yes. So that's the current. That's how you check the current and you find the current which is going through the circuit. You understand? Yeah. Hmm? Usually, I'm doing this probably every time when I'm fixing a laptop. Yes, you you connect to the the. No, I don't connect anything. Just just put make the circuit again. Okay. Make the circuit again, and I will show you. There you go. Okay, so you see there zero point eight six five, yeah. Yes. Check on the screen mm -hmm. on the power supply. It's zero point eighty six. Eighty six. Yes. Right. Yeah. That's how I'm checking the current always. It's no point inserting the multimeter on the serial mode because I have the current on the screen. You can see? So yeah. there we have voltage and there we have current. That's how I know the current which is going through a circuit. All right. You understand? Yes. It's very helpful when you can read the current on a power supply. Okay. But the... So now you understand your current, which is going through the circuit. So what's the current on this circuit? I, because I is current. Okay. So what's the current? It was 0 0.8. 0 0.8. Okay, 0 0.8 amps. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now you understand? Yes. So we have 12 volts. And 0 0.8 amps. Okay. Now we're going to learn something else. Mm. The power. So what is the power? I've got the power. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. No. Uh, now the power. Is the intensity. Is the, is the power. The, 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 yeah, no. I. Let me explain you how okay. we calculate the power. The, right. the power is the relationship between voltage and current. So together, voltage and current, yeah. it will give you the power. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. So I have that voltage, I have that current. Those together, that's the power I have. All right. Yeah? Yeah. So how you find the power? 12 volts times current. Okay. 
So what is the power? I missed the maths. Uh, <laughs> the power is... 12 times uh, 0 0.8. Yeah, let me calculate. Yeah. Is 9.6. 9.6 what? 9.6 what? 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 Exactly. Yes. 9.6 watts. The power is on what? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. It is clear till now? Clear. Okay. Now our vacuum cleaner. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's taking 220 volts because that's what we have. Yeah. Yeah? And uh, 10 amps. How do you know it's 10 amps? I'm just saying. Oh, okay. So what's the power of our vacuum, vacuum cleaner? It will be 2,200. Exactly. 2,200 watts. 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 Exactly. Yes. So now you understand? Yes. It's hard? No. 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 What about if our uh, vacuum cleaner mm -hmm. is working to 220 volts? Okay. Yeah. And uh, has only 1,500 watts. What's the current? Wait. So, I'm waiting. So, uh, wait a minute. Yeah, so, I'm waiting. So, the vacuum has what? It's working 220 volts, right? Yeah. Has 1,500 a, a watts. Yeah, that's me. What is the current? That means it has lower um, um, amps. Yeah, it, tell me exactly how many amps. So, you said... Uh, give me a calculator. Come on. Okay, so how you calculate? You calculate like uh, uh, 1,500 watt divided by 220. And you have uh, 6.8 amps. Exactly. Hey, you see? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you see it's working on the on always. On the same way you find the voltage. I mean, I missed some uh, maths lessons, but not all of them, you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what about if the vacuum cleaner has 2,000 watts, the Two current is 10 amps, what is the voltage? I mean, it's the same way. Yeah, okay, what is the voltage? So, 2,000, you said 2,000? 2, 2, 2,000 watts. 2,000 watts, and then uh, divided by, uh, it, it's 200. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So you understand how you calculate the power of a circuit? Yeah. We are not really we are not really using the power. We are repairing. So we are using things which are already designed. Okay. So this is not important. Yeah. But I'm just telling you to know how you calculate the power of the circuit. Okay? Okay. It's not it's not very important on this point. Got it. Okay. Now you have 0 0.8 amps, right? Yes. What about if you have 10 volts? What will happen? If you have 10 volts? Yeah. I'm switching the power supply to 10 volts. What will be the current? Oh, you, you will not have 9.6. You will have lower. Okay, that's right. That's right. But what will be the current? What do you mean? The, the, the amps? The I, yes. The I? Yeah. It will be the same. How? Let's check together. Let's check together. Connect again and let's check the current. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I know. I know it's confusing. I know. Yeah. I know. And you are a proper genuine. Dumb. Not knowing. <laughs> dumb. <laughs> no, no. I'm putting some no, dumb no. questions. No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. No, it's okay. Um, wait a second. What is this? You said it doesn't matter, right? How yeah. you connect it. Yeah. So what is the current? Oh, all right. It's 7.9. So what happened with the current? So, it, all right. So you, if you have lower voltage, you have lower amps. As okay, well. let's lower the voltage to A volts. Now we have A volts. What is the current? It's 0 0.6. Yeah, let's lower the voltage. 
to 6 volts. Yeah, now you have 6 volts. What is the current? It's 0 0.5. Okay, let's hire the voltage to 14 volts. Oh, that will be killing my eyes. But there you go. We have 14 volts. What is the current? 9.6. 9.5, sorry. So what conclusion do we get from this? So if you hire the voltage... Yes. The amps go up. Exactly. Well. That's why I'm to I, I told you they are working hand in hand. Yes, but it they are not working like one like that and one like this. They are working like this. What hand in hand like, means? Like this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they are going up and down together. Yeah. So you understand? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, something else we're going to learn now about the resistance. What do you think the resistance is doing? The resistance. It's resisting something, no? Mm -hmm. It's resisting against okay. something. Against what? The voltage? Let's check. I, I, I don't know. Let's check. I know you don't know. I know you don't know. I mean, it's resisting some, something, obviously, but... Uh... I don't know what. Okay, let's check to find out together, yeah? Okay. So let's assume I don't know. Let's find out together. All right. I will take this because we can check the current on the power supply, okay. yeah? So it's no point being this here. Yes. Yeah? Good. So here we have a resistance, right? Yes. So on our schematic, we're going to connect the resistance. So the resistor symbol can be like that. Yeah, that's a resistor. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Or can be like that. I prefer this one because it's easier. It's fine for you? Yeah. Okay. It doesn't matter. And then we have the light bulb. All right. So I want the resistance to be on a serial mode with the light bulb. Can you connect it for me? Yeah, but I need to take this out. To take what? No. Wait a second. Yes. No. Wait, you need to... In a serial yes. mode. No. Yes. You connect it here. Okay. Yeah, that's serial. Okay. Yeah? Yes. And now to the power supply. Let's do something. Mm. Let's find out what this resistor is doing. Okay? Can we find out what the resistor is doing? So I connect the resistor here. Now take the multimeter, which is on screen. Okay and check the voltage here, and then check the voltage after the resistor. Let me switch to 12 volts. Yeah, 12. Wait, uh, to check here, like this? Yeah, that way you check the power supply, right? Yeah, so what's the voltage? Wait a second. It's 12. Okay, now check after the resistor. I hear. Yeah. It's 12.1. So that's mean if we are connecting the light bulb, it will work, right? It's 12.1. So basically what we have here, we have 12 volts from here to here, right? Yes. Connect the light bulb. It's not working. It's not. Why? Hmm. Why is it not working? Because we put the resistor, obviously, right? Okay, check one more time. What's the voltage? Zero. Why, why is zero? Now check the voltage before the resistor. There. It's 12. So what's happening there? Why we don't have voltage after the resistor? Because it's, uh, it, it's blocking the voltage. It's blocking the voltage, okay. Just give me one second. Ah. Check one more time. Check one more time. From where? From here yeah, to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said it's blocking the voltage. How the... Wait! That's what you said. You said it's blocking the voltage. Yes. It's not.
But it was, it was zero. Yeah, with the light bulb connected. Oh, okay. So if we are connecting this, now check one more time. It's zero. So what other resistor is doing on the circuit? It's blocking the voltage. Okay, let's try one more time. No, 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 no. check, <laughs> check one more time, check one more time. So it's not blocking the voltage. I mean, it, it's stopping the voltage to go to there. How? This is a, it's, it's a dumb resistor, you know, it's nothing like some special component. But... Hmm? So, if, if you connect the, the yes. wire... Yes. That means... It, it, how do you say it's like... Uh, Uh, I'm lost. I'm trying to make you figure it out what's going on. So, if you connect the wire yeah. to that one, it's zero. Yep. Yeah. That means the voltage is getting lost somewhere inside of the resistor, right? Yes. Hmm? Yes. But the voltage is not getting lost because without the light bulb, we still have the voltage. So something get, something else is getting lost. Yeah, but where? Inside of the resistor, obviously. Because without the resistor, the circuit is working. Yes. So what is getting lost? The voltage. You want to check one more time? But the voltage disappear as soon as you yeah. connect the... Yeah. The, the wire, the... Did you ever vanished. think for like a second, maybe the current is missing? Maybe, just maybe the current is missing. Hmm? Makes sense? Yes, makes sense. Makes sense, you see? Yeah. Because exactly that's what the resistor is doing. It's limiting the current. Okay. And the voltage is getting dropped according with the ohm law. Oh, oh. so if you don't have uh, current, enough current, enough current, obviously you don't have enough voltage. No, it's not obviously. No, it's not obviously. If you don't have enough current, the current it will drop. Okay. If you don't have enough current, the voltage it will drop. Okay. Yes. You understand? Yeah. I guess. Yes. Okay, let's have a look at the ohm law. We, we, we are not learning the ohm law because, you know, it's. Yeah. I don't want you to learn the ohm law. I want to understand the ohm law and how you apply it on a circuit. Okay? Oh, okay. Good. Okay, let's go back to the screen. So, you see those on the bottom, this is the ohm law. Okay? All right. Good. So, now we have... Uh, the voltage is 12, right? Yes. It's 12 volts. We have the resistance, which is marked with R from resistance. Yes. Yeah. And then we have the current, but we don't know the current because we just insert a resistor on the, on the circuit. Yes. Okay. So we need the resistance. What resistors do you have there? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. But I'm not asking about the color. I'm asking about the value. Uh, what rings do you have? We have red. Yes. Black. Yes. And orange. Yeah. What is that? Uh, red is two. Two. Uh, black is zero. Yeah. And the uh, orange is zero. No, no, it's double zero. No. No, black it's double zero. No. No. Wait a minute. Red, you said it's uh, two. Two? 
No. Czech hair. Yeah. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. Red it's two. Yeah. Black it's zero. Yeah. And orange. Oh, it's triple zero. Yeah. All right. So. So what's the value? Uh, twenty thousand. Okay. What? Horses? No. Fish? Ohm. Ohms. Okay. Ohms. How many kilos? 20,000 ohms, that means uh, 20,000 ohms, 20 kilo ohms. Exactly. So the resistance is 20 kilo ohms, right? Yes. Good. So we need to find the current, which is I, yeah? Yes. So we know the voltage and we know the resistance. Yes. So I equals uh, 12, voltage. Yes, 12 divided by uh, 20. Yeah, do it. Uh, calculator. 12 divided by uh, 20. Not 20, you don't have 20 ohms. You have 20K. Yeah, 20K is 20,000 ohms. 20,000. Okay. 20,000. Yes. yes. And it's 0 0.0006. Yeah. That's the current. Okay. So how the light bulb should work with this current when you checked on the beginning and the current was like what? like? 600 or 800 milliamps, mm -hmm. remember? Yes. So clearly it will not work if that's your current right now. No. Right? Yes. That's the reason why it's not working. Because the... the current is too low. Too low. Yeah. And how you increase the current then? What about using a low resistor? Yes, because that, that, that 20K is too much. Okay, so let's say, let's say we want what current we want. We want like 400 milliamps. What do you think about that? 400 milliamps. So we don't know the resistor. But we know we, we want, what we want, 400 milliamps? 0 0.4 amps, yeah? Yes. Yeah, that's what we want. Yes. Now, what, uh, what we are uh, applying here? So we are applying the, the last one, yes. Uh, that means voltage divided by 0 0.4. Yeah, try it. So, calculator again. Yeah. Uh, voltage, which is 12. Yes. Divided by 0 0.4. Yeah. We need, it's 30. 30 ohms. Yes. Yeah. We need a resistor that is 30 ohms. And we are going to have 400 milliamps. Yes. The current, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get a resistor. Yeah, so pick one. Which one? Uh, 33 30. is the closest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take it. Uh, we, we need 30, but it's 33. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. So if you take this out. Yes. And connect this one. Yeah. Okay. And now... If you connect this one here. Oh. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! What? <laughs> oh! What? It's. <laughs> I burned my finger. It's so hot. Because you forgot the power. Oh my God. You forgot the power. <laughs> so what power I will have in this circuit? You forgot the power. I check here, no, on the screen. 12, how you calculate the power? The, the power. Yeah. Um, wait, the, the, the power is the I, right? No, the power. How do you calculate, calculate the power? The power is in watts. Oh, it's in watts. Okay. Oh, okay. So. We calculate on the beginning. Yes. I'm done. I forgot. Wait. No, no, no. Let me. So we have um, current, which is 12. Cur current. Current, that's current. not current. That, that, that's voltage. That's voltage. Voltage. We have 12. Yeah, we have 12 volts. I know that. Oh. 
But we we calculate. Wait, we we calculate the power. Yeah. I told you volts or amps. That's the power. Yes. So twelve or zero point four? Or zero point four. How much it is? Um calculator calculator twelve times zero point four is four point eight watts. watts. Yeah. You know those resistors are like zero point five watts? Okay. So you see? You come with a 0 0.5 watt resistor, and actually, what do you need? Like nearly five amp, five watts resistor. Yeah. Yeah, that's the reason why it's getting hot. Okay, so this is not the right one. What do you mean the right one? Is the right value of the resistor? Yeah. We, yes. we calculate it's 30 ohms. Yeah. Yes. But the power of the resistors is too low. This is 0 0.5 watts. Yes. And what you calculate now, like nearly 5 watts? Ne nearly yeah. 5. So we need a 5 watts resistor. And how do we find out which one is the 5, five watts resistor? We need another resistor, a bigger one. Yeah, but if you put a bigger one, that means you put up bigger ohms. No, no ohms. No ohms. The watts, the power. But this one was bigger. This one was bigger, but it was too big. The resistance, but not the power. The resistance, but not the power. Okay. So how do we um, figure out which, uh, which one uh, we need? I'll show you the resistors comes on different uh, Different values and actually different uh, wattage, yeah? Yes. So let's find a, a, a higher wattage resistor. Yes, yeah. but at the same time, uh, lower ohms. 30 ohms. 30. Yeah. So okay. this is a 100 watts resistor. Okay. That, that's a big one compared with this one. Yeah, it, it's about the power of the resistor. I want to check to tell me what resistance is on those wires. Okay. So the resistance is 30 ohms. You can see on the screen? Yes. Yeah. So this resistor is good. Okay. Bigger because the power is it's, 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 it's higher, but has the same resistance, 30 ohms. Okay. Now connected on a serial mode with the, with the light bulb. So we need this one here. Yeah. All right, and we need this one on uh, on this. Oh wait, on this one. Yeah. Oh, okay. And what is the current? Zero point three. Actually, three hundred. Three hundred sixty milliamps. Yes. Yeah. So zero point three amps. amps. Yeah. 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 Now, what do you think it will happen if we are uh, lowering the resistance? Lowering? Yeah. So what is the resistance? Uh, 15. 15 ohms. Yes. So how the current, it will be higher or lower? It will be higher. Why? Because... I don't know. Oh, let's calculate it on low. Yeah. So it will be like 12 volts divided by uh, 15. Yeah. Right? We said 15. It's 0 0.8. That Let's means see. 800 milliamps. Exactly. Let's see. Tested. So this one goes here. And this one goes here. Hmm? It's 0 0.6. About there, about, about there. Yeah, it's 680 um, milliamps. 
Okay, we'll, because the light bulb is also a resistor, but we're gonna learn on the next lesson. Uh, you know, the connecting the resistor in the serial mode and the parallel mode. Okay. So what do we learn today? We learn uh, the the voltage goes together with the uh, um, what's it called with um, amps. Current. Current. Yeah. Current. Okay. All right. So it goes together like hand in hand. Okay. That's good. Um, and we learn the ohm low, obviously. No, no, no. Just, you like, know, take it on our order. So yes. after that, the power. The power. How you calculate the, power, the power. How to calculate the power. Yeah. The, you calculate like uh, um, the voltage uh, times... Um, current yes that's the what yes and uh the ohm low we learned the ohm low what the resistance is doing in a circuit yes okay so uh, what will happen with the current if the resistance go uh, lower the you have lower resistance what will happen with the current Lower current as well. <gasps> okay, I said, l let's check one more time. Then. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I said uh, it will be higher. No, no, no. You said it no, 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 no. Because when we got the 30 ohms, right, yeah. it, we had uh, 0 0.4 amps. And if we lower the ohms, yeah, we, we had 0 0.6. So it goes up. Okay. So lower resistance? Lower resistance, higher the um, current. Okay. Higher resistance. Higher resistance, lower the current. That's fantastic. You but you'll you'll still remember this next time, right? Uh, I need to write it down. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Okay, so we're gonna stop now. This is just you know the first lesson, but it's going great. You think? I don't know. We're gonna. Be. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, like um, probably I. I I put a lot of dumb questions or no, no, no. I, I, you're, I did you're a, lot a genuine of, beginner. No, no, no. I did a lot of dumb answers. <laughs> you're a genuine beginner and that's normal. That's, you know, that's why I choose you oh, okay. because you don't know anything. So your question, it will be the beginner question. Okay. Mm. Yeah. But people will think, oh, she's so dumb. Yeah. No, you don't know electronics. I don't. Okay. Okay. So it's not about dumb or not dumb. It, you don't know. You are learning. Yeah, but they, they will say, like, you should learn that in physics at school. Come on. Who remember what we did in the school? No. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so we're going to stop now. I will going to say thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next one. Mm? Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye.